Welcome to Capital Investments, where we provide you with insightful analysis and updates on the latest financial news and trends. Today, we're going to delve into the topic of how WhatsApp makes money, a subject that has been a mystery to many since its inception. WhatsApp is one of the most widely used messaging apps in the world, with over 2 billion active users globally, and it was acquired by Facebook for a whopping $19 billion in 2014. For many people, it's hard to imagine how a free messaging app like WhatsApp can make money. However, the fact is that WhatsApp generates substantial revenue, and its business model has made it a successful and profitable platform. Understanding how WhatsApp makes money is essential for investors, business owners, and anyone interested in the technology industry, as it provides insights into the potential of the company and its future growth prospects. Without further ado, Let's dive into the world of WhatsApp and explore the secrets behind its financial success. WhatsApp was founded in 2009 by two former Yahoo employees, Jan Koum and Brian Acton. At the time, the mobile messaging space was largely dominated by BlackBerry Messenger, and Koum and Acton saw an opportunity to disrupt the market by creating a messaging app that was simple, reliable, and easy to use. The first version of WhatsApp was released in the App Store in 2009 and quickly gained popularity among iPhone users. In 2010, WhatsApp was also released for Android, further expanding its user base. Over the next few years, WhatsApp continued to grow, adding features like group chat and voice messaging. In 2014, Facebook announced that it had acquired WhatsApp for $19 billion, making it one of the largest tech acquisitions in history. The acquisition was controversial at the time, with many people questioning whether WhatsApp was worth the high price tag. However, Facebook saw the acquisition as a way to expand its reach into the mobile messaging space and gain access to WhatsApp's massive user base. After the acquisition, WhatsApp continued to operate independently from Facebook, with Coom and Acton remaining at the helm of the company. However, in 2018, both Coom and Acton announced that they were leaving WhatsApp, reportedly due to disagreements with Facebook over the direction of the platform. Since the acquisition, WhatsApp has continued to grow and expand its reach. As of 2021, WhatsApp has over 2 billion monthly active users, making it one of the most popular messaging apps in the world. The app has also expanded its feature set, adding support for video calls, voice calls, and end-to-end -end encryption. Despite its massive user base, WhatsApp has faced challenges in monetizing its platform. The company has experimented with various revenue streams, including charging users a small fee for using the app and offering businesses the ability to communicate with customers through WhatsApp. However, the company has yet to find a sustainable revenue model that can match the scale of its user base. WhatsApp's business model is unique in the tech industry because the company does not rely on traditional advertising methods to generate revenue. Instead, WhatsApp has adopted a user-first approach and built its platform around the idea of providing a simple and reliable messaging service to users, while finding creative ways to monetize the platform. One of the primary ways that WhatsApp generates revenue is by charging businesses for using its business API. The WhatsApp business API allows businesses to communicate with customers on the platform, which can help them provide better customer service, build brand loyalty, and increase sales. Businesses are charged a fee for each message that they send to customers through the API. This fee is based on the country in which the business is located and the type of message that is being sent. For example, promotional messages are more expensive than transactional messages. Another way that WhatsApp monetizes its platform is by offering the WhatsApp Business App. This app is designed specifically for small and medium-sized businesses (SMBs) and allows them to manage their customer interactions on the platform. The WhatsApp Business app is free to download and use, but businesses can pay to promote their products and services within the app. WhatsApp charges businesses a fee for each click that their ads receive. WhatsApp also generates revenue by providing a paid version of its platform to enterprise customers. The WhatsApp Enterprise solution is designed for large businesses and organizations and offers features like enhanced security, custom branding, and advanced analytics. The WhatsApp Enterprise solution is not publicly available and businesses must contact WhatsApp directly to inquire about pricing. While WhatsApp does not run traditional ads on its platform, the company does use its parent company, Facebook, to promote its products and services to businesses. Facebook has a large advertising platform that businesses can use to reach customers on WhatsApp and other platforms. This integration allows businesses to reach a wider audience and provides WhatsApp with an additional revenue stream. 
WhatsApp has a number of revenue streams that have helped the company generate revenue and remain profitable. Let's take a closer look at each of these revenue streams in more detail. 1. WhatsApp Business API One of WhatsApp's primary revenue streams is the WhatsApp Business API. This is a paid-for-service that allows businesses to send messages to customers via WhatsApp. This API is particularly useful for businesses that want to provide customer service via WhatsApp or send automated messages to customers. The WhatsApp Business API is available in three different pricing tiers. The first is a pay-as-you-go model, where businesses are charged based on the number of messages sent. The second is a prepaid model, where businesses can purchase message credits in bulk at a discounted rate. The third is a monthly subscription model, which is designed for larger businesses with high message volumes. 2. WhatsApp Business App In addition to the WhatsApp Business API, WhatsApp also offers a dedicated app for small and medium-sized businesses called the WhatsApp Business App. This app is designed to help businesses manage customer conversations more effectively and provide a better customer experience. The WhatsApp Business App is available for free on both iOS and Android devices. However, businesses can purchase additional features within the app, such as the ability to create a custom business profile or use a WhatsApp number that is not tied to a personal account. 3. WhatsApp Payments WhatsApp Payments is a relatively new revenue stream for the company. It is a peer-to-peer -peer payment system that allows users to send and receive money through the WhatsApp app. This service is currently available in India, where WhatsApp has partnered with local banks to facilitate payments. WhatsApp Payments is a free service for users, but the company charges businesses a small fee for processing payments. This fee is similar to the fees charged by other payment processing services, such as PayPal or Stripe. 4. WhatsApp Ads While WhatsApp has been slow to monetize its platform through advertising, the company has recently started to explore this revenue stream more actively. In 2018, WhatsApp began testing ads within the status feature of the app, which is similar to Instagram Stories feature. The ads in WhatsApp status are currently only available in a few select countries and are only shown to a small number of users. However, this is expected to expand in the future as WhatsApp looks to generate more revenue from its user base. 5. WhatsApp Enterprise Solutions Finally, WhatsApp also offers a number of enterprise solutions that are designed to help businesses integrate WhatsApp into their existing workflows. This includes tools for customer service, sales, and marketing. WhatsApp's enterprise solutions are typically sold on a subscription basis, with pricing varying depending on the specific features and services being offered. WhatsApp's user base is highly engaged with the app, with the average user spending over 28 minutes per day on the platform. This high level of engagement is partly due to the app's popularity in emerging markets, where people often use WhatsApp as their primary means of communication. In these markets, WhatsApp has become a social and cultural phenomenon, with many people using the app for both personal and professional purposes. One of the reasons why WhatsApp is so popular in emerging markets is its focus on privacy and security. The app uses end-to-end -end encryption to protect users' messages and calls, making it a more secure platform for communication than many other messaging apps. This focus on privacy has helped to build trust with users, who are more likely to use the app for sensitive conversations and information sharing. Another factor that contributes to WhatsApp's popularity is its ease of use. The app has a simple and intuitive interface, which makes it easy for users to send messages, make calls, and share files. The app also supports a wide range of devices and operating systems, including both iOS and Android, which helps to expand its user base. In addition to its large and engaged user base, WhatsApp's popularity also makes it an attractive platform for businesses and advertisers to reach a wide audience. WhatsApp's Business API and WhatsApp Business App allow businesses to communicate with customers more easily and efficiently, offering features like automated messaging and customer support. WhatsApp's user base and engagement have helped to make it one of the most valuable messaging apps in the world. However, the company has faced challenges in monetizing its platform, as it has been slow to roll out advertising and other revenue-generating features. Despite these challenges, WhatsApp's popularity and engaged user base continue to make it an attractive platform for businesses and advertisers, and the company's future growth potential remains strong. WhatsApp is undoubtedly one of the most popular messaging apps in the world, but it faces stiff competition in the messaging app market. In this section, we will discuss the competition that WhatsApp faces and how it differentiates itself from its competitors.
1. Facebook Messenger One of WhatsApp's biggest competitors is Facebook Messenger, which is also owned by Facebook. While WhatsApp focuses on private messaging, Facebook Messenger offers a wider range of features, including group chat, video calling, and various multimedia options. Facebook Messenger also has a larger user base, with over 2 billion monthly active users compared to WhatsApp's 2 billion. However, WhatsApp has several advantages over Facebook Messenger. Firstly, WhatsApp is more privacy-focused, with end-to-end -end encryption for all messages, while Facebook Messenger only offers encryption for some conversations. Additionally, WhatsApp has no ads, while Facebook Messenger displays ads in the app. Lastly, WhatsApp is available in more countries than Facebook Messenger, making it more accessible to a global audience. 2. WeChat Another major competitor to WhatsApp is WeChat, which is based in China and has over 1.2 billion monthly active users. WeChat is a multifunctional app that not only offers messaging, but also allows users to pay bills, order food, and book appointments. WeChat has become an indispensable part of daily life for many Chinese citizens, and it has started to expand into other markets as well. While WhatsApp has a similar focus on messaging, it does not offer the same level of multifunctionality as WeChat. However, WhatsApp does have the advantage of being available in more countries than WeChat and being more privacy-focused. Additionally, WhatsApp does not require users to link a bank account to the app, which can be a barrier for some users in using WeChat. 3. Telegram Telegram is another messaging app that is popular among privacy-conscious users. It has over 500 million monthly active users and offers features like end-to-end -end encryption and self-destructing messages. Telegram also has a wider range of multimedia options than WhatsApp, including the ability to send larger files and the option to create channels for broadcasting messages. While Telegram has some advantages over WhatsApp in terms of privacy and features, it does not have the same level of user base or accessibility as WhatsApp. Additionally, Telegram has faced criticism for being used by extremist groups for communication and coordination. 4. Signal Signal is a messaging app that has gained popularity in recent years due to its focus on privacy and security. It offers end-to-end -end encryption for all messages and does not collect any user data. Signal has a smaller user base than WhatsApp, with around 40 million monthly active users. While Signal is often seen as a more secure alternative to WhatsApp, it does not offer the same level of functionality or accessibility. Additionally, Signal has faced criticism for its lack of support for multimedia options like video calls and the ability to share files. 5. Line Line is a messaging app that is popular in Japan and other Asian markets, with over 600 million registered users. It offers a range of features, including messaging, voice and video calls, and various multimedia options. Line also offers a virtual assistant that can help users with tasks like making reservations and checking the weather. While Line has a strong user base in Asia, it is less well-known in other parts of the world. Additionally, Line has faced criticism for its data privacy practices, with some concerns raised about how user data is collected and used. One of the key areas of focus for WhatsApp in the coming years is the development of its business API and WhatsApp business app. The company has been testing various features in these products that allow businesses to communicate with customers more effectively. For example, WhatsApp is developing a feature that will allow businesses to send messages to customers who have not initiated a conversation, which could be a powerful tool for marketing and customer engagement. Additionally, WhatsApp has been working on integrating shopping features into the app, which would allow businesses to sell products directly to customers through the platform. Another area of focus for WhatsApp is the integration of more social features into the app. The company has been testing various features that allow users to share content, such as photos and videos, more easily with their contacts. Additionally, WhatsApp has been exploring the integration of more social media-like features, such as a status feature that allows users to share updates with their contacts. WhatsApp is also investing heavily in the development of new technologies that can enhance the user experience on the app. For example, the company has been working on improving the quality of voice and video calls on the platform. Additionally, WhatsApp is exploring the use of augmented reality, AR, and virtual reality, VR, technologies to enhance the user experience. Another key area of focus for WhatsApp is the expansion of its user base in emerging markets. 
The company has been working on developing features that are tailored to the needs of users in these markets, such as the ability to use WhatsApp on low-end smartphones and in areas with limited internet connectivity. Additionally, WhatsApp has been investing in marketing and partnerships to increase awareness of the app in these markets. WhatsApp is exploring ways to generate revenue beyond its existing business model. The company has been testing various monetization strategies, such as in-app advertising and premium features for users. While WhatsApp has not yet announced any concrete plans for these monetization strategies, they could provide new sources of revenue for the company in the future. In conclusion, understanding how WhatsApp makes money is crucial for investors and potential investors in the company. WhatsApp's business model is unique in that it does not rely on advertising as a primary revenue stream, but instead charges businesses for using its platform to communicate with customers. WhatsApp's revenue streams are growing, as the company continues to invest in its business API and WhatsApp business app. Additionally, WhatsApp's large and engaged user base make it an attractive platform for businesses looking to reach customers. However, WhatsApp faces significant competition in the messaging app market, with other popular apps like Facebook Messenger and WeChat. As such, WhatsApp must continue to differentiate itself and evolve its platform to stay competitive. For investors interested in investing in WhatsApp or in the broader tech industry, it is essential to keep up to date on the latest news and developments in the space. By subscribing to Capital Investments, you can stay informed on the latest trends and insights in the tech industry and make more informed investment decisions. Subscribe to Capital Investments, where we explore topics related to finance, economics, and investing. Thank you for watching.